So I've come here today to the SOS Children's Village in Davao in the Philippines um, and it's a fantastic location, just kind of spin around a bit here, see it all behind me. Uh, and we decided last year at Yomdal that rather than send the traditional Christmas cards, we would actually uh, choose a charity to support and because of our connections, hello, how are you? And because of our connections, we um, decided to support the SOS Children's Village in Davao, which has a simple motto of, motto of uh, no child should grow up alone. And I'm sure that uh, when you look around, you will agree with me, it is a delightful, absolutely delightful setting. So I've come to visit today just to see a little bit about how, how it works and uh, the children, and no doubt I'll add a little bit more to this video a bit later on. See you later, bye. Well here I've just had a wonderful little chat with uh, Roxy, a former IT consultant indeed, who uh, now uh, helps run this uh, wonderful village. And I'm just going to sort of turn around ever so slowly and you can see this glorious setting of the SOS Children's Village in Davao, which we are very honoured um, to support. And uh, behind me here is it like, it's a typical house there, so that house will have maybe, um, I don't know how many children, there's 143 here in total. They have a house mother, there are house rules, every house is different. Um, the mothers offer both the pastoral care um, as well as uh, the laundry, making sure they go to school on time uh, and all of these kinds of things. And there's a really um, lovely thing here, which is, uh, if I go down like this, you can probably see at some point, where is it, there? Maybe you can't see it, but essentially there are mangoes on the floor. They they fall off these uh, off these marvelous mango trees, um, and they're just lying here, waiting for someone to pick them up and make a green mango salad. Oh, that's got red ants all over it, so I'm going to drop that and uh, let that go. And we just walk around. We can see. Um, so behind me now, as I turn around this way, is the most amazing tree which uh, apparently the kids uh, climb and I've got to say I'm, I'm really impressed with this place and it's a, it's a marvellous homely setting for children that have been uh, abandoned or neglected or possibly orphans but it's not actually an orphanage it's a home. I really can't say enough about how nice this place is um, in Davao. You can see there's a game of football going on behind me now. It's uh, Saturday at uh, 20 to 12 in the midday sun in the tropical heat. The kids of course all go to school uh, during the week um, and, and that's actually that's where the greatest need is for donations and at Yomdal last year we started supporting this village that instead of giving um, sending Christmas cards to our clients we decided to instead uh, contribute the money that we would have spent on Christmas cards uh, in sponsoring the SOS Children's Village in Davao in Mindanao in the Philippines and we have uh, supported a child um, for their education for a year and we intend to continue extending our support of this wonderful organization. Uh, we're now just signing off and uh, I'm really really pleased that um, I came to uh, came to visit um, the SOS Children's Village in Davao. It's been a marvelous experience.